Hello BJD people in YouTube, it's uh, Laura and Dandelion today and we are going to do uh, BJD edits prompt number 9, how did you get into the hobby? Um, I'm choosing not to do all the prompts in order because I first want to introduce myself and my collection and then maybe I'm going to do all the other prompts. So how did I get into the hobby? Like. Uh, anyone else, I think. I saw some pictures on the internet of a very, very beautiful doll. He was uh, an SD doll, an SD boy, I don't know the sculpt, I don't know the company, and he was uh, um, uh, from the collection of an Italian girl, uh, the one who actually made all the makeups for my dolls. Uh, her name is uh, Luna and uh, her makeup uh, shop is La Coteri della Luna. Um, I leave the link down below. The doll was uh, um, actually cosplaying uh, Dream from uh, the Sandman series by Neil Gaiman and uh, back in the day I was a very big fan, I'm still a very big fan of Neil Gaiman by the way, and I was looking for fan arts and I found this doll, this beautiful doll and I was like wow what's this? I, I need to know, I need to have one of these and uh, everything went that way, <laughs> everything went crazy and now I have nine BJD dolls which is uh, quite funny. I was a doll collector um, before um, discovering BJDs. When I was a child I had a lot of Barbies, I don't consider them a real collection because I used to play with them, uh, cut their hair, everything you do in Barbies when you're a child. But I had a quite large number of Barbies and accessories and so on. Then uh, I discovered uh, jointed dolls uh, and uh, I bought, uh, I, think I bought, I think at first I bought pull lips. I have three pull lips now. I tried to sell one but she didn't sell and I'm keeping her. I have three pull lips and after pull lips I discovered living dead dolls that are um, horror dolls. They're not jointed, they are simple dolls but I love them because they had that horror vibe that I love very much and always been an horror fan since uh, I was little. So, um, Pool Lips, Living Dead Dolls, Barbies, and uh, the first uh, doll that I bought that looked like a ball jointed doll was an obitsu, one of those little obitsu, like 26 centimeters tall. Um, she was like a first try, I bought her from Hobby Link, and then I sold her um, sometime after because I, she didn't fit in my collection. Um, after some research, uh, I finally bought Dandelion. Um, I bought her through um, a shop and um, a shop in Italy. There were these two girls uh, who had uh, <coughs> who were sellers for uh, Doll Zone, and I placed the order through them. So, I, and I received my first doll back in uh, uh, what was that? 2009. Yeah, 2009. Yes, 2009. <laughs> And uh, since then, well, I've been uh, collecting like crazy, yay! And I'm not planning on leaving the hobby very soon, so I think my collection is going to grow a lot more. I'm going to talk about uh, my collection in detail in separate videos for each of my dolls, and maybe I'm going to talk about my plans, my future plans for my collection in another video. Um, because I have one doll on the way, well, he's on the way, and I think I'm going to receive him around October, but hey, <laughs> he's so beautiful and expensive, so I need to do labor. Anyway, uh, this is it for this prompt. Uh, feel free to leave comments, like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, see you in the next prompt.